guys, welcome back to my channel. So me and my mum, we've come to a car boot sale today. I haven't been to a car boot sale in literally donkey's years. There used to be one near us at a hospital. I see quite a few clothes, so that's good. Christian Dior. I mean, don't know if it's real. Ralph Lauren trousers here. I love the baby blue of this blazer, but it's just like not the right style and just oh, far too small. Again with this one, cropped and too small, but I really like the pink of that. What's this one? Again, it's just too small. Ooh, I like this brown corduroy skirt. Um, but I kind of already have a brown, I already have a brown mini skirt. And it's like cake, Would you afternoon like it? tea stand. Yeah, it's nice. But everything on this rail here is 50p each, said on the front. This is like men's shirts and stuff. So I've just found this jacket, which is really cool. Italy Moda. I like how the big pockets, it's really padded as well. This would literally drown me. Quite cute. It's a bit small though, so it's like a blue fleece. If that was a bit bigger, I'd like that. There's loads of shirts here, like loads and shirts, but I haven't found like a yellow or a pink pastel one. It's little bag. Cute are these? I think they're kids, but the butterflies are so bloody cute on the bottom as well. In this little stall, and it's got like suits and jackets. The suits are five pounds. The jackets are three pounds. I really liked that lavender one, but it's short sleeve, which is a shame. A seller here with like all of these big tables just full of clothes loads and loads of hats here how cool is that blue one new york yankee one like bucket hats nike one oh it's very dirty though some red gap zip up adidas zip up the blue one i think she said it's all three pounds on the tables it's like a striped adidas it looks like a beach towel doesn't it be nice on the beach yeah it would be nice on the beach this is nice it's zip up blue gap hoodie they are all a bit bobbly though. And like the zips, a bit thingy, but I really like this. I really like the colour of this one. <laughs> Ooh, look. Tom and Jerry, do you? say like three for a pound or everything on the floor 50p each, but I mean, it's looking through it, isn't it? Because to be honest, most of it will probably just be stuff that you don't really like we've basically made it to the end now and people are like packing up and starting to leave i think this is pretty much the last one to look at they pay a lot of money for that for what for the coffee oh yeah they do coffees out the back of their car that place over there like everything was like bobbly and had marks on i was actually really optimistic about it but yeah there wasn't much there my mum's just spotted this best that's lincoln don't know. Don't know. It's nice though. It's kind of colour, Mum. But look at my hair yeah. because of the wind. But yeah, we've just finished. Got five things for Did less than a tenner. Five? A lot cheaper than charity shops, but a lot more. There's a lot more rubbish. And Jazz oh, also night. managed to grab himself a free bag thing. himself a free tennis ball. So Jazz isn't coming home empty-handed. Time is half ten. Most people are packing up and leaving now. The car park is a lot emptier than when we got here. I would definitely go to the car big set again. I mean, it's longer to look through and whatnot than charity shops, but you do get better deals than you do in charity shops when you find good things. It's been a few weeks since I went to the charity shops, but I was in Brighton and had other videos going up. I just hadn't gotten around to filming the haul and showing you guys what I picked up. So I got five things for £7.50, I think. So I got three items of clothing and then two accessories. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd have already seen one of the accessories because I gave you a little sneak peek over there. So I'll start with my favourite thing, which was this bag. I love this. I took this to Brighton with me, which is why I said you might have already seen it on my Instagram. But, oh my god, look at it. It's a little bit worn, as you can see. The seller did actually say that she has used this a lot, but I loved it so much, and it was only 50p. And I actually don't, I quite like that whole, like, worn effect. So obviously, as you can see, it's like jeans, but... This is why I loved it so much and why I had to get it. Look at the back. Well, I use this as the front. I kind of switched it around. I went from this to this. I think this is probably made out of actual jeans. Oh my god, my mum's just started hoovering. Why does it 
does she do this when I'm trying to film? Oh, who likes my roses that I bought myself? I thought I'd get myself some flowers. It's so unique. I'm so sorry if you can hear my mum hoovering, but I'm just going to roll with it. So inside it actually has a little clasp on in here, and it's also got a little zip, which I kept like my card holder in. I almost didn't even see this box. I looked down as I was walking past, and I was like, oh my god, a box of bags, because it was the first box of bags that I'd actually seen at the car boot sale. And I found this little beauty, I found this little gem. So the first thing I've got are these pinstripe trousers. I've been looking for a pair of pinstripe trousers for quite a while and I saw these for £2. Obviously couldn't try anything on so I literally just like put them around my waist. I was like, mm, they go about halfway around, they should be fine. They're just a navy pinstripe. I don't know how you're going to see this, so let me come in a little bit closer so you can see. The pinstripe is a very, very light, like small blue. They're not completely high waisted. They're just, they sit just below my waist, but that's fine because I think these have like a big baggy hoodie and some chunky trainers will look really, really cool in autumn. They're a really nice length as well. They're not too long or too short. So yeah, that's really good. Also got belt loops and two pockets on the back, which I probably won't use. Ignore how creased this shirt is. I have actually already washed it, but I just had it in the wash pile again. Picked up this purple striped shirt i'm loving shirts at the moment so as you can see it's like three little stripes like not one big stripe this shirt was also 50p sleeves haven't got buttons which is really weird like it's got instead of buttons it just has holes on either side so what i think i'm going to do i might sew some buttons on to be honest or i might because i can't like fold it and then fold it again because it doesn't stay put i didn't even notice that when i bought it but yeah i'm definitely going to do something about that because just a bit odd. Next up, I got a necklace. So I actually saw this on like one of the last stalls that we went to, and this was one pound fifty. And all it is is this silver chain. I just really liked it. But it was a really nice slinky chain. I'm always I love chains, so if I see a nice chain, then of course I'm gonna pick it up. This is actually the first piece of jewelry I've ever bought from like a charity shop or anything like that. Not too much to say about it, just a basic silver chain, but I got £4.50 and I love it a lot. Last I got another item of clothing. This was £2. I tried it on and I got my mum to take some photos of me and I was like, I'm just going to get it. It's £2. If I don't like it, I can just donate it or, you know, someone else might want it. So it is just a grey blazer. It's not as oversized as I would like, but um, it's not that small either. I wasn't too sure about the shoulder pads because I feel like they stick out a lot here and make me look quite broad on the back of my shoulders. I think if I could get like a similar like dark grey like this in a trouser and wear something as a suit, unfortunately obviously she didn't have trousers to match, I think that would look really cool. Or like some wide black leg trousers with like a cropped turtleneck, I think that would look cool as well. Yeah, I just need to style it up and see how I would wear it. But yeah, for £2, can't really complain because a blazer for £2 is obviously really, really good. It's from a place called Taylor and Reese, so again, probably just like some men's suit place. <laughs> Literally have no idea about any of these names. But that is everything that I picked up from the car boot sale. I hopefully will be returning again this year. I'm not, I think they run up till next month i think it's october yeah so hopefully i'll return again and see what else see if there's any winter bits there for me to pick up but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video my first car boot sale since i was a little, little tiny kid follow my instagram if you don't already it's just sorrel wj i would really really like that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also turn on my notifications so you're notified when i upload and i'll see you all in my next video on sunday bye